Stretching from the remote indigenous communities of Cape York and the Torres Strait to the tranquil sands of Port Douglas north of Cairns, the vast electorate of Cook takes in mining and farming communities and has one of the state's highest indigenous populations. We asked what are the issues affecting voters in Cook? I will be voting for the Liberal Party. The foreshore here in Port Douglas, there's a lot of controversy around whether we're putting in a lagoon pool, whether we're developing Port Douglas or not. Let's face it, this is a beautiful part of the world, but you can't go swimming here at the beach. So having something to do at the other end of town is going to keep people in town a lot longer and attract more people to town. Catcher is kind of, um, he, he's got himself into a lot of trouble, but he speaks his mind, you know. The uh, Liberal Party, uh, numbers are down, spending is significantly down and the government needs to address tourism because it's a major employer, particularly in Queensland. But I haven't made my mind up as yet. Port does need an upgrade, but they seem to be stretching it out and not coming to the point. I'm going to be voting on the Conservative side of politics. I'm hoping that they are going to be more supportive of tourism in the north, you know, cutting red tape in business because businesses in this area are suffering drastically in the last three and a half years. Uh, not sure yet. Uh, I think obviously uh, tourism right now just to support the Port Douglas Shire. And my main concern right now is getting that lagoon in concrete. Ah, oh, Bob Catter, crikey. Crocs are not that bad. And yet he's going on about, you know, culling them and doing this and doing that because he thinks that's going to get him votes. If you've got common sense, you'll never get attacked by a crocodile. I've always been a swinging voter. I mean, the real issue is probably will be um, the coal seam gas. I mean, I certainly don't want a pole in my backyard, you know, with chemicals down there. My kids are playing around, that's for sure. Come election time, they give you the same promises, throw money at you, and we're still in the same boat. You always think it's going to get better, but... Nothing ever happens, really.